Wow. Oh, I love coffee, man. And I definitely am gonna see what's up there. this man expedition hawk expedition hawk man what is up guys and girls and welcome to yet another video here from expedition hawk today's video will be a little different than my previous videos i've been uploading recently because that's mostly been reviews and tips and tricks especially for the amok hammer but uh, this video is a little different because right here and right now this is actually the beginning of an adventure trip. Right now, I'm heading towards one of my secret and favorite spots, which I enjoy spending time at. So, uh, you're coming with me. So, in this video, we will both have some main life because this is the name. I didn't notice that this is fine. Oh, anyways, this van. I love this van, man. Uh, what the hell am I saying? I just love this van. No man, just van. But it will contain van life, this video right here. So I will give you a quick tour of the van when I get to the destination. Also, behind me here, for the adventure motorcycle lovers, look at this. I brought my adventure motorcycle, my enduro bike, which is a KTM 690 Enduro R. Beautiful bike, man love it. It's my secret weapon to go places where this van cannot take me, where my kayak can't take me and where my leg can't take me. Serious secret weapon. Isn't it? So I will give you a quick tour of the bike also. Um, but right now, as I said, I'm heading towards my favorite spot. One of my favorite spots. <laughs> Boom! Okay guys, so now I arrived at the spot I was talking about and uh, as you see, I brought my vein for vein life and I also brought my enduro bike over here, the KDM 690 Enduro R. This is a 2019 model by the way. But uh, as promised, I said I would give you a quick tour here of the van. And as you can see here, I just brought a foldable chair and a foldable table. And I know you can get a lot of lightweight tables, a lot of lightweight chairs, but uh, I don't really care, man. Uh, not on trips like this, because this is not a hiking trip. This is just a van life adventure trip. So why not bring luxury when you can? 
and uh, over here is just some stuff for work so i can work in the evening here and yes guys it have to have this tiger printed steering wheel cover okay it have to it's just a universal rule just like it is a universal rule to have a dancing moose how cool is that man but uh, let me give you a quick tour inside the van here so over here i have my food and a towel for cleaning the bike and stuff like this and uh, up there you see some snacks a multi-tool sunglasses and yes i do also have a light chain in my van just as i do in my hammocks because i love light chains okay and the bed here i actually built this bed frame myself and it is possible to pull it out down here um, and then you get a frame that's big enough for a mattress queen size uh, a queen size bed can fit in here perfectly and i do have a queen size mattress also but uh, right now i'm keeping it one person and uh, then it's just in couch mode and then i just remove the back pillows over here which i got from a couch as i recall yeah it was from our old couch at home so uh very nice very nice as you can see here it is just possible to pull it out here and you can check it out all the way in here i keep a lot of goodies which is a mark stuff and i keep a hilleberg in there and a sleeping bag and my pillow right here in here we have foods hiking foods extra clothing and this is just kitchen stuff right here hiking kitchen stuff food stuff and whatever and over here general outdoor stuff and down there we have tools and then i have my tripod there for a camera but uh, who cares in here i have a small coffee table here wait let me show you from the other end here this here is all my driving clothes for when I'm riding the bike and over here I have a small table which is right now overfilled with GoPro stuff and a laptop and this big Salvimar duffel down here I keep all my diving suit stuff and in the blue one down here I keep my lead and the fins are right here so as you see this is like a mini camper van man I love this I really love this and then in the evening I put an iPad Pro up here and then I just watch movies Netflix and chill well well not uh, not chill but just Netflix okay and uh, relaxing so uh, that's cool so this is the van and about having a van like this I will say the same as I did in my kayak video which also actually goes for the bike right here I feel that with my kayak, with my bike, with this adventure van, as I call it, I have the complete setup because I can hike, I can kayak down rivers and lakes and even oceans, and I can take this bike and go up any mountain, man, no matter how high, how tough it is, this baby will do it. And this is the van here, it's just epic to travel in. So if I'm going places where I have to drive, and that's not unusual where I have to drive like 1,400 kilometers or something like this or 900 kilometers. This is a great thing to have. Or if you arrive at your starting point very late in the evening, it's just super cool to just be able to go into the van here, take a good night's sleep and then head out in the morning for your hike. So uh, that is perfect. But right now I'm going to make some food. So let's make some food here. And the menu today is going to be real tour map. No, it's not. Not today, because when we are in van life, we're not going to eat hiking food. And this right here, I love this pot set here. This is the GSI Outdoors. I really like this, man. And it contains a lot of good stuff here. And I, of course, also use the Mighty Jet Boil. So uh, let's get started in this kit. We have a pan and this lid right here, you're not supposed to cook with it on, 
on the pots here. It's just to like when you made potatoes or something that you can take out the water. That's the only point of these lids here. But that's cool. C2 Summit cups. I'm only gonna need one of these. Water filtration, water purifying tablets, of course. And this is my salad bowl, which is in the same style of the Sea Summit cups right here. Very, very good stuff. Love this. And I have my sponge for cleaning. The small one here for potatoes. So I'm gonna use this lid also. This GSI Outdoors pots and pans. Very, very clever system. Love it. So here we have the pan ready. Jet foil. I see they also have this other one right here, which is a small piece right here, which I can bring on motorcycle trips if I'm just gonna have something small in my small backpack when riding. But uh, for now, I'm gonna use the jet foil right here, which is the one I'm always using when I'm hiking. Very rarely I use these fuel chamber gases, but uh, I do so if it's not cold outside and it's just for van life. But when I'm outside hiking or something, always Primus or MSI because these are not so reliable if you ask me. Definitely not in lower temperatures, so remember that guys. And then this very, very important small dry bag here. If you've seen my visit to Swedish Island videos, you know that this is just my spices bag. Can't have enough spices, man. And some oil down here. This is one we're gonna use right now. So let's get some water in this pot. Boom. Now we are gonna make some potatoes. Potatoes are done, so let's just take them off right here and put them to the side. So we're gonna put them down here. And then let's give these barbecue chicken some roasted garlic pepper and then some chili and salt mix. But only a little tiny bit. Give it some oil. What is this? I'm not gonna have this. So one piece there, one piece here. Let me get the salad bowl ready also. One salad bowl. So a little salad here. Not much, but just some. That will be. Let's get our lunch box ready. Pork and spoon. And cups right here. Normally I actually use this one for salad. And this one for smaller stuff. But uh, now I just use my big salad bowl. It's very nice here. It also contains a cutting board. I can't remember who made this. Oh yeah, it's a... Uh, will do. Will do. Very, very nice box of cheese. I have two of them, one for me, one for my son. They work a charm. So, let's get some chicken. This is just gonna wait here. <sighs> that was nice. And now I think I'll take a little evening drive on the bike. So come with me. Expedition Hawk is ready to roll. Let's go, man. Let's go find. Some nice spots. So goddamn beautiful here. And in these areas, guys, you can actually get lucky and see a moose, a 
or two. There's also a lot of big birds of prey here. Predator birds. I've seen eagles here. I've seen hawks here. Expedition hawks, flying expedition hawks. And I've also seen a lot of falcons here. But when you see a big eagle here, wow, man. Yeah, I said in the beginning of the video, this is a different type of video than the ones I've been posting recently. But uh, I said this is a hiking channel, an adventure channel, reviews, tips and tricks, everything, kayak expeditions, van life. So it's just adventure, man. And this bike right here is part of my adventuring. And I love it. These are beautiful road <laughs> woohoo two adventure bikes enduro bikes actually stopped near my van while i was sitting and preparing my camera equipment so they just stopped there and uh, we had a little talk about places they could visit here and just bike talk man two awesome dudes two swedish dudes on a Husqvarna and a kdm adventure bike so uh, maybe I'll meet them again today. You can see right here. Nice guys. But uh, anyways, I'm glad you would come with me on this adventure bike trip. Very nice. Someday I'm gonna kayak out to one of these islands here. And I'm gonna make a new kayak expedition video. I love camping on islands, man, I really do. Wow! A big bird of prey. Oh, this is beautiful, man. guys we are home this is definitely good nice for me here I'm tired as hell I'm watching movie so I'm gonna fall asleep in like two minutes or something yep good night very nice outside today. Beautiful weather. Okay, that's my alarm clock, man. I don't need that now. But uh, yeah, as you see, beautiful weather outside. Oh, I love coffee, man. So now I think I'm just going to eat some uh, breakfast and then I'm going to pack a small backpack and then I'm going to head out there on the KDM bike. So that's what we're gonna do. So I packed up my tripod and a couple of cameras here. And now we're going for a ride to see if we find some very, very beautiful areas. Well, this is goddamn beautiful, but I mean epic, even more epic beautiful areas or maybe a moose or something, who knows, man. So uh, this is the second day of the Van Life Dash Enduro bike adventure motorcycle expedition here. Satellite map. That's Google Maps. In satellite mode. I saw a place near a lake that I want to check out. So uh, that is actually where we're heading right now. On these beautiful gravel twisties here. And guys, let me tell you, if you ever consider buying an enduro bike or an adventure bike, you should really consider this one, the KDM. Wow, now we got pavement here. 
you should really consider buying one of these a KDM 690 Enduro R or a Husqvarna 701 Enduro uh, right down there there's a big sand track I'm gonna check that out on the way back but uh, anyways you should consider one of those bikes because it is just a weapon outdoors if you see like a mountain like that one just point and shoot man this baby will take you there man i love the swedish house so beautiful actually i just love sweden i've actually considered moving to sweden many times move here permanently i love sweden that much i also love norway and in many ways norway is even more beautiful than sweden but Sweden is just closer to Denmark, so if I should move like permanently, I would move to Sweden. But uh, Sweden is also very, very beautiful. Much more beautiful than Denmark. Don't get me wrong, Denmark is an amazing country. And we have some beautiful, beautiful areas in Denmark. But uh, nothing like Sweden and Norway. Nothing like Sweden and Norway at all. Okay, so I can see right now come down to private area the GPS didn't say that at all man so uh, I guess I'm gonna stay away from that area right there wow would you look at this imagine living there directly down to the lake that is my big dream man you know when I'm up here in Sweden and also in Norway it's almost like a spiritual experience for me because it's just so peaceful, man. It's just so deep in some way. I can't even explain it. I just get this very, very deep and spiritual feeling inside. I love this. What's that, man? What's that on top of those stones? If there's a Swedish guy watching my video, can you answer me? What is that? What do you use these for? I never seen that in Denmark. Well, maybe because we don't have so big stones out in the field. But uh, anyways, I really want to know. So if there's any Swedish guys watching the channel, I love your country, man. And uh, please tell me, what are those used for? Okay guys, so we are back at camp, so let's depart here and get some food. Mm-hmm, I'm definitely gonna have some beef. Right now I'm just making some food after I jumped out of my suit there. And when I'm done eating, I think I want to put the Amok Hammock up there. What a view. But first, food. I just want some food. It just tastes better. Oh yeah. This is gonna be nice. So I'm gonna eat now guys and then I am definitely gonna put up the hammock up there. Ah, I love food man. But uh, now that I'm done eating I will go up between these trees here and uh, set up the amok hammock. So uh, give me a second guys. This is nice. 
Gotta love this, man. Gotta love this. Yeah. This is perfect, man. I'm so much enjoying this. You can't even imagine. Perfect trees here for the hammer. Perfect view in front of me. Perfect weather. Perfect hammer. And the perfect beer. Carlsberg. The best beer in the world. Rubber. A mock hammock. The best hammock in the world. Definitely. How nice is this? Now I'm gonna relax here for like 30 minutes or something. And then I'm gonna go and jump on the bike again. And then I'm gonna drive to a place nearby that I know. Which has a very beautiful scenery. Nice view, man. So I'm gonna go there and shoot some nice footage. But uh, for now, 30 minutes on my back in this beautiful hammock right here with this beautiful view. Beautiful mountains and beautiful woods and rivers. Life never gets old here. Okay guys, so now it's time for me to take the bike and go up to this place I was talking about. So uh, follow me. Seems I can't drive any further, so I guess I'm gonna have to walk to see what's up there. But that is for 100% certainty. Let's go. Oh wow. Oh wow. Wow. Wow, this is beautiful, man. Okay, pretty far down. Really beautiful, this. Yes. Amazing man. But this is where I'm talking about this spiritual feeling. I just had it here and I also just fired it. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that, but I actually just fired it. It's tough being an old man. Oh, I could imagine this being chocolate right now. I want chocolate, man. I hope my bike's still there. Luckily, I still have the key. Oh, yeah. I see the secret weapon there. I'm coming, baby. So, guys, I got out my motorcycle enduro equipment, and uh, now I'm just sitting here in the car having a sip of coffee so uh, that's great and now I'm just sitting here and reflecting on the experiences of today one thing that was <laughs> was that uh, the footage you just saw I was actually about to record some more footage for you with my tripod but uh, all of a sudden a gust of wind came and it knocked over my tripod and it came off. it broke the whole screen man so yeah that is just pure you know so yeah now I'm just chilling here in the car and uh, drinking some coffee and just chilling man really just enjoying life here and I think though in a minute I'm gonna put the iPad up here and I'm gonna 
watch some Netflix. And yes, you're right, I have Crocs. They're so easy to slip in and out of when you're going in and out of the car. Very, very easy. So yeah, I love my Crocs. But guys, this is the last evening of this adventure trip. I love the areas around here. It's so beautiful. I think I already said that many times. It's so beautiful up here. Really beautiful. So uh, tomorrow, I don't know what the plan is tomorrow yet, but uh, I will definitely be going home back to Denmark. But for now, it's movie time. And probably also good night time, because I have a hard time watching the movie through without falling asleep. So. Uh, Farewell and good night, my brethren. Good morning, guys. I just woke up here in the van and yet another day with beautiful weather. Guys, I want to show you something. Right up here, this bird box right up there, it actually has an owl in it. An owl baby. So I hope it would stick its head out again. What a shame. But it seems I forgot I have an appointment at home. In Denmark in like five hours or something so uh, I guess I will be packing up the car right now and leaving this beautiful place for now but I've had an amazing trip here and I'm definitely gonna be back to this location I've been here before and uh, it's beautiful up here very beautiful So guys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this video, even though it wasn't a review or how to tips and tricks and all this, but uh, this was just purely and simple an adventure trip, which has sadly come to an end. I wish I could stay out on adventures forever, man. I would love that. But uh, this trip has come to an end and I am now heading home to Denmark. Such a beautiful area, man. Baby. So now I guess there's only left to say, like this video, please post me a comment if there's something you want to ask me or something you want me to cover in a future video or something. And uh, subscribe to the channel guys to stay tuned for more cool videos like this. Expedition Home. Signing off.